The video you are about to watch has been made possible by our friends at iFixit. More on them later, but right now, let's get into the video. Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with a one-day fix-it that is a rare one, weirdly, uh, because this is about the infrastructure for this very channel. That is today's one-day repair build that I'm going to do. Um, in front of me, I've got um, two pairs of Sennheiser Lavalier transmitter receivers. Um, these are really like one of the souls of television uh, and movie recording. These are wireless radio microphones known as lavaliers. Uh, I'm wearing one right now. And uh, it's been a tricky road for the last few decades for Soundos with these guys because the FCC uh, keeps on allocating different parts of the bandwidth for different uh, uh, industries over the years. So sound people who uh, use radio signals to transmit their sound uh, have to change it every few years. That's definitely happened. Also, uh, lavaliers have gotten a lot less expensive. These are sort of uh, not necessarily the budget version, but they're a lot less expensive than they used to be. Unfortunately, they have a failure mode, uh, and it is not within the body of the electronics. Their failure mode is in the antenna. Uh, and when an antenna goes bad, <laughs> when an antenna goes bad, nobody is safe. Uh, it leads to just an absolutely shite signal. You get all sorts of, you get cutouts, you get, <coughs> you get sound artifacts, it's awful. And so we have ordered some OEM transmitter and receiver antennas. For this model of the Sennheiser, it is the same antenna. That is not true of all lavalier mics. We have others, and we're still trying to find the, uh, the OEM parts for those. But these are great for these. So I'm going to repair all four of these microphones, get them with new antennas, and hopefully into regular rotation so we have more options when we have guests on the channel. I'm going to be using the, uh, the, this wonderful uh, 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 video microscope that I showcased on the channel a few weeks ago. And this is, I think, is the first build in which I'm actively using it that's not about the microscope itself. Full disclosure, I found a video online on YouTube of somebody repairing these. It is a very simple procedure. Um, and I'm going to go through that, but I think the first thing I've got to do is take the spring clips out of all four of these uh, so they're not in my way. These have camera transmitter uh, holders on them. This clip. Uh, I think it's time to turn on our recorder. So I'm going to say, okay, and it's recording. Uh, so here is our microphone. Uh, I'm going to start with a receiver. And uh, it's got these Torx bits. So let's crack that and find a Torx bit that matches. What do I think this is? I'm going to guess that that's uh, an eight. Let's see. I nailed it! Wow, calibrated eyeball. Very pleased with, with myself there. Okay. There are four screws holding the back on. Okay. Look at that, it's on a, it's on a little hinge thing. That's wonderful. <laughs> Okay, so now I know that there are three screws holding the back of this on, and they are not all the same length. They actually have a specific layout. So uh, I think this one is a slightly different size than these two. Um, but, and they are a smaller, that's a seven, and that is a top left. And then I think this is going to be a six. And then this is also a six. So yes, that's how it works. Uh, the two bottom screws are a T6. And the upper left is a T7. Uh-huh. 
Okay. I need to I need to be able to pull that guy out. So what can I do for that? I think I need do I have a very small flat hand? Oh well maybe that'll do. Let's see here. I need I need something very specific. Hang on just a sec. Come on, are you kidding me? You can't, okay, wait a second. I may have to do this slightly differently than the video I watched. Um, it looks like I can operate on this without pulling the jack. And so I'm gonna try and do that. This right here is the solder that I'm gonna undo to replace with the antenna. And if we take a look at the OEMs that I have and the real thing, they are OEMs. They look identical. It's exactly the same part. That's awesome. However, I've got a much longer wire. So I've got to shorten this lead here and strip it and tin it again. Okay, great. That is what we will do. So I've got to, I've got to shorten this lead to match here, right? Because that's very small, uh, and tin it again, and then I should be able to slock slock it back down in there. I'm gonna cut this down here, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe that. Uh, yeah, maybe that. Sure, sure. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a little more. <laughs> All right, maybe here, here, here. No, probably about there. Look at you, you also broke. <laughs> I went to throw it in the garbage and look what I did. <laughs> That's hilarious. Today's video has been made possible by our friends at iFixit. And if you're anything like me, you have a bunch of projects rattling around your shop or your house that need fixing. Case in point, the wireless microphones that I am fixing in this very video that you're watching right now. Well, if you've got projects to fix, you're in luck because the iFixit Spring Yard Sale is happening right now. And while you might know them for their phone and laptop tools, they also make tools to repair things like refrigerators and vacuums. In addition to the discounts on hand, you can also enter to win a mystery box filled with things like the ProTech toolkits I always have on hand. Head to iFixit by following the link below and get started on that project you've been putting off. So, right, we should be hot. We are hot. Um, I want to desolder this guy and pull it out. So I should be able to really just get it warm and that'll soften up the solder. Come on. Yeah, I see the solder soft. There we go. That was it. Hey, and it even happened on camera. Very excited about all of that. That's great. Okay, cool. So now I want to, uh, right. Now I want to actually tin this and give it a little bit of a, uh, yeah, we'll just get it in the frame. Awesome. I'm gonna get my, Get a little solder on the tip here. Get it on there. There we go, that's properly tinned. And what I'm gonna try and do here is I'm gonna try and hold this like this and bring it up from the back, get the solder hot and let it pop through. I see the solder getting soft. Come on. That wasn't enough. Okay, come on. Hey. Um.
There it is. Oh, I got it and I got it on camera. Oh, Joey, I think I got it. Uh, if I did, I should be able to close this back up. So I wanna move, move this wire over a little bit. Yep, but it's poking out there. That's just where I wanted it to poke out. So I've got a nice good solder on that. So it's on the board and it doesn't look to me like I have screwed anything up. I mean, if I bring this up and look at it in focus, it looks to me like I got a good solder there. Okay, so that should be sufficient. So if I remember correctly, the seven and that's the six. And then the six, right? Yep, TR6. All right. Um, should be able just to, to close this up, right? Yeah, there we go. Yep, 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 okay. All four of these screws are the same, so we go one and two and three and four. All right. Um, yeah, let's get this business off of here. That's our, our former partners. And below that, our partners before that. <laughs> this microphone has had many masters. I know, I know. It's scaring you moving towards my thumb. Okay, good. And now we're going to give it a new, a new, new parents. <laughs> There we go. Ta -da. Yes, much better. I've been secretly sticking these on the back of televisions in hotels across the world, hoping that someone will wonder if I made Savage Industries televisions. My answer will be yes. Yes, I do. Um, there you have it. Uh, so that is a receiver, and I'm going to uh, also repair this transmitter, uh, and then we'll test them out, make sure they work, and we'll call that a day. Yay. I'm gonna plug the microphone in. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Plug in the microphone in. Check one, two. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, 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 one. Test, test. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sounds good? Sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm beating on the antenna. You're not getting any... Oh, nothing at all. Nothing. Awesome! Dude, that feels pretty good. <clears throat> Repairing our own equipment here. Look, I mean, the OEM antennas, what did these cost, like 40 bucks? Uh, about 20 each. About 20 bucks each. That is way cheaper than buying a new pair, and yet, it is garbage until you fix this. So uh, for Sennheiser mics, it is an easy fix to get the OEM parts and repair these uh, broken antennas. For the Sonys that we also have a bunch of, that's a future build, we haven't yet found those parts, uh, but I'm glad to get these guys back into the plasma pool of our equipment and working for us. Thank you guys for joining me for this one day build and repair, and I think the first official build that used the microscope that wasn't about the microscope itself. Thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you next time, loud and clear.